Welcome to ACC 2012. I'm Dr. Randy Martin with CardioSource Video News. You know that CardioSmart is a patient and consumer education module. It's really a tremendous initiative started by the college, and we work with different organizations to really focus on heart-healthy living. And I'm thrilled to be joined by two of those organizations, people with those organizations, both the Coca-Cola Company and the Hershey Company. Joining me from the Coca-Cola Company is Celeste Baudoff. Celeste is Vice President of Living Well at the Coca-Cola Company of North America, and Deborah Miller. Deborah is the, the Director of Nutrition at the Hers Hershey Company. Thanks so much for joining me, Thank both you of for you. So us. let me Thank let me you ask Andy. you. We'll get out of the gate here and say, why is it important for each of your companies to work with organizations like the ACC? Celeste. Well, I think that there, people are very concerned about health, and they should be these days. And they're looking for answers. And what we know is is that while we're really good at getting messages out, we don't have the authentic content. But the ACC has the authentic content and they know the things to tell people to do. So a partnership between the two allows us to take the really good information and push it out there and push it to the top so that people can see it. Super, super. Deborah, what about the Hershey Company? I, I think uh, I completely agree with Celeste on, on how this you know, really works for both sides. And I think what we share is a common language as scientists that we can build on the evidence. And if we're all talking about the evidence that's out there in the public literature and we can build upon that to make products on our end and to get messages out to the to uh, patients, consumers, then we all win and we can talk to each other and establish a dialogue that you know creates the next step and keeps making that next step. Absolutely, abs I think you're both right. You know the the obesity epidemic. I'm sure you field lots of questions on that and <laughs> your company's relations commitment to that. But but the the concept of really healthy living in light of the the obesity epidemic. So tell me a little bit about what your, each of your company's views is, is your commitment to healthy living with the obesity epidemic as a backdrop. Right, so uh, there is obviously an obesity problem out there and that's a big problem that people are concerned about. Our company's been doing a lot of stuff in the active healthy living space for a long time and virtually our 125 years of existence, but we didn't talk about it much until recently. And mm -hmm. so now though, people really need us to step up and talk about it because we can and to bring our partners along and do that. So what we're, what we're starting to tell the stories about are the active living programs that we've put into the marketplace, knowing that being active is really, really right. important to people's health. And then in addition, we're working with a lot of organizations about how people should eat with moderation and, uh, and do everything with moderation really because that's the thing that's sustainable and can really help you overcome and uh, have a healthier life and a better body weight. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Deborah. And absolutely, you know, uh, a healthy lifestyle is one that's sustainable. You have to be able to do these healthy behaviors for the rest of your life. So we really believe the same thing, that moderation, not deprivation, is the way to go, and that it, it enriches your life. So you healthy diet with a few treats, something that tastes good on occasion, but putting that into the context Absolutely. of making sure you get your priorities, get your exercise, keep active, and you know, overall, that will make you stick to that healthy diet as opposed to restriction, you know, restriction and being too, um, you know, it has to be fun. Right Life now. has to be fun and food should be enjoyed. <laughs> and let's be Amen. part of that and <laughs> let's work together. And, and you both are, <laughs> you know, your companies, your products both are. So, you know, let me, let's, let me finish up with the question of what do you see, you know, because if people look at this, you think about a consumer company, you know, big consumer companies joining with healthcare, uh, you know, advocacy organizations. What are the biggest challenges to creating these partnerships? Well, in my view, it's really about trust and about having people understand that both sides can be trusted. And we find a common need and we're able to work on things together. And the more we work on things together and the more we understand each other, uh, the better off we are. Consumers today really, really want transparency. They want transparency in everything. Mm -hmm. And by working together, both organizations are able to communicate that transparency. And really, that's the biggest challenge, to be able to find ways to actually reach people with the right messages. Excellent, Deborah. And absolutely, the most powerful way to get things done is for people to work together. And public-private partnerships are, I think, 
have solved so many of our problems across, you know, from public health issues or along our history, that this is really the way we need to go now, as a public-private partnership where we work together, be transparent, and really learn from each other. And if we do that and we trust each other, then we can move ahead and we can get this agenda moved ahead. Absolutely, and you know, I, I personally, I want to thank both of you and your companies for, you know, helping the ACC and helping us with consumer education and also helping us to enjoy life with, with your particular products, because we do, we do use your products to enjoy life. So thank you both for joining Absolutely. us very thank much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Andy. And we thank you for joining us, and stay tuned because we'll have more for you from ACC 12.